Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss uh, the Lagrange and Chebyshev barycentric interpolation formula. Um, we have seen the interpolation formula for uh, Lagrange and this has the form of this equation and uh, interpolating with uh, the Lagrange formula is not very efficient since for every new location x uh, we have to do uh, to perform uh, n square operation um, uh, there exists a variant called a barycentric and we can reduce the number of operations so it is uh, uh, the same as Lagrange interpolating formula but we can reduce the number of operations and we gain time. Uh, we will begin by uh, the n, uh, n plus 1 degree polynomial that's appearing in the numerator. Lx is the product of x minus xi from i equal to 0 to n. Um, and the barycentric weight uh, Wg equal to the inverse of the products xg minus xk and where k not equal to g. Uh, this uh, barycentric weights we can calculate before uh, the beginning uh, of the program. These are constants and we can calculate the barycentric weight by the inverse of the derivative of x, uh, uh, l uh, xg and we can write uh, the cardinal function lgx which uh, here we can write it as lx multiplied by wg this has the form uh, divided by x minus xg um, and uh, the barycentric and uh, the first form of barycentric formula has this form. And uh, now, if we interpolate a constant function that if i equal to one, and uh, from this relation uh, that we have before, that p x equal to one and fj equal to 1. So we have 1 equal to uh, the sum of all L, Lgx. And this uh, uh, equal to, from the previous relation, uh, this form. So we have uh, fg equal to 1 and uh, px equal to 1. Uh, we can calculate Lx. So we have the form of Lx, uh, this relation, and we can replace L by its value and the uh, first for a barycentric interpolation formula. And when we replace this, we get the second form of barycentric formula with which we will use in the program. Uh, now the, ma the MATLAB code for the barycentric interpolation formula, the Lagrange barycentric interpolation formula is, has uh, this function. Uh, the function barycentric interpolation uh, uh, returns a vector of interpolating interpolated values of yy uh, corresponding to the query point xx. Our data points are x and y. So our data points x and y and the query points xx. Uh, first, we uh, put x equal to x uh, two dots. This is uh, for assuring that uh, this is a column vector for all the data. 
and uh, we can calculate in this function w equal barycentric coefficients uh, the coefficients wk which are the inverse of the product xk minus xj uh, where j not equal to k and uh, we put it in the MATLAB for this formula the product function xk minus xj we put this form <coughs> x uh, from 1 to, to x minus 1 k, k minus 1 k plus 1 so uh, k not equal to j uh, this function calculate the barycentric coefficients and we use it in the barycentric interpolation here in this function um, so uh, first we calculate z which is uh, x minus uh, xi minus x uh, plus 1 e to the power uh, minus 30 so we prevent divide, division by 0 so we assume that xi not equal to x by this uh, by this relation so if xi equal to x this will equal to 0 so we divide it by 0 so we add this uh, constant uh, small constant that we prevent to the division by 0 uh, mu equal to w by uh, divided by z which is we calculate w j uh, divided by x minus x j uh, and finally we calculate y according to the previous formula this formula we have calculated this so um, we divided mu multiplied by y over the sum of a mu and we calculate uh, px by and, and return by the function which is returned by the function uh, this code is uh, you can find this code in the scientific computing and introduction using maple and matlab page uh, 122 Here we will take an example of this function um, fx equal to sine of the free x. Uh, first, our data points x and y. Here are our data points. And the query points xx uh, lean space uh, from 1 to 2.2. .2 and there are 50 points and we apply the, the barycentric code barycentric interpolation our data points and the query points and return the uh, yy and uh, finally we plot the uh, data points and interpolation and interpolated points so we get this figure from MATLAB and now I will explain uh, the function the code uh, the MATLAB code Barilag which we don't use for loop in it and this code is uh, from MathWork this site this code is from MathWork I will explain this code uh, the same code as before but here we don't use uh, for loop uh, to explain the program or the code we take uh, three data points so our data three uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 uh, this is our data and uh, we we put it in this matrix form and uh, our query points uh, capital X is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 this uh, vector data uh, first the code repeat uh, the column data uh, 1 this is for x 
and m times this uh, so we have three data we repeat it three times x1 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 and x1 x2 x3 three times so we get this, uh, the matrix x and uh, x minus the transpose of x plus i uh, now we take x minus x uh, transpose of x so we take all the possible uh, subtraction value of x minus x so uh, the first row we have x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 etc and uh, we add the identity matrix uh, for the division so we not, we not divide by uh, zero uh, to calculate uh, wj uh, we take the inverse of this the inverse product of this uh, here uh, we take the inverse so we put in the, diagonal, uh, in the diagonal one uh, so that the inverse uh, there is no zero in the diagonal and by this uh, operation we can calculate w1 w2 w3 uh, now we repeat the matrix weights uh, by this uh, code this uh, rip mat uh, we repeat it uh, n times so n row w1 w2 w3 n times we get the matrix weight this is n by m and um, we get the distances between the nodes uh, by uh, taking also rip mat uh, so this is our query points capital X minus X1 this is the first column and also the query point minus X2 and the query points minus X3 so we get this matrix this is the distance between uh, nodes and interpolation points and now we divided our W matrix by X dist so get this matrix and this matrix uh, h equal to wj over x minus xj now if we uh, finally we compute the interpolated polynomial if we take the sum of h2 uh, this is the sum of each row if we take the sum of h1 this is the sum of each column uh, we take the sum of each row of the matrix h it's like uh, also the product of a2 uh, this is the product of each row and the product uh, a1 the product of each column uh, so we take the sum of each row of this matrix and we get uh, the denominator, uh, which has the form of this formula, and um, we multiply h by uh, our data points y, we get this formula. Uh, here we take the same example as before but using uh, this code, the Parilag, um, the same results. So we have our data points x and y, and the query point xx lean space from 1 to 2.2, 50 points. So we put the data matrix xy, and we call the code of Parilag data uh, xx and we plot finally we plot the results we have the same results as before but here we uh, don't use the for loop 